Testing, testing, one, two, three. Testing, testing, one, two, three. All right. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. We are going to uh, trade the markets today, as usual. And uh, it's appreciate everybody showing up and having a good morning. Hope you're all having a good day. We had a good day yesterday. So we had uh, some good trades that went up, both in the futures market and in the stock market. And we're going to see if we can't repeat that today. Only I want to do a little, a little bit differently, just to give you a little bit of a different point of view when it comes to trading some of these markets. We're going to look at it from a short point of view. And we're going to do that both with, you know, taking short positions, making money when the market goes down. We can do that. And then, of course, we're going to go over into the stock market and we're going to take some short positions <clears throat> as markets fall. But we're going to do it in kind of a unique way. So I'm going to show you some fun ways you can do that as well. So stick with us. And I want to thank the people who come and watch these videos um, after the fact. I know we got a lot of people who come and watch the videos not live. So welcome. Welcome for those of you who come and watch the videos not live, but welcome to all those who are here live and want to come and do it and watch it at the same time I'm doing it. So that's a lot of fun too. I like to have the live classes and that's what uh, that's what I really enjoy. I like to have the live classes going here so we can all look at it together at the same time. And then, uh, of course, nothing wrong with those guys who come and watch the watch the video in the replay. So welcome, replay people. Just wanted to say that. For those of you who don't know who I am, we get new people in here all the time. Um, just give you a little banner. My name is Land Turner. I'm a former instructor of the Chicago Board of Trade, Chicago Mercantile Exchange Education Centers, and so. Um, that's been a lot of fun. I learned a lot there. I actually learned more than I taught. <laughs> Even though I was an instructor, I learned more than I taught. That's for sure. If you want to learn something really well, teach it. That's, you know, that's what they always say. Look at the market. It's flushing right now on this open. The mo mo morning bell's gone off like one minute ago. So um, the S&P, this is a 15-minute chart up here on the S&P. It's a little quiet right now, but it looks like it's trying to drop as well. We got the Dow which is flushing around a little bit, but the NASDAQ is the one that's dropping hard. It come down and touch that 200 period moving average. Um, the Russell came down and touched the 50 period moving average. Let's see if it wants to continue. Is that 200 or is that 100? Two moving average. Oh, that's the, that's the VWAP right there. We got the problem here. We got two of them are the same color. The darker one is the VWAP. That one's, I can't tell. Which one is the VWAP? Let's come in here and change the colors on there so we're not screwed up. Two with the same color. So how we do that? We're going to come in here. We got one that is cyan, and we got one that is the cyan is turned on. So that's the one we're going to change because the, the VWAP is the darker blue. So let's change the 200 moving average to be... Do we have a red one? We do have a red one. That's a 20 period moving average. I don't have it turned on right now. What color should we use for the 200? How about just uh, gold is, what colors are there? Red, yellow, green, and blue. Red, yellow, green, and blue. We got blue. We got a, oh, well, there's a dark blue. Dark blue, light blue. All right, we'll go with that for now. Save, update all my moving averages. Go back to my charts. Okay. So the darker blue is the 200 period moving average, and the lighter blue is the VWAP. Too many lines on the screen. Too many lines on the screen. All right. <clears throat> if you draw enough lines on the screen, the market will hit one, and you can say your system worked. So let's draw lots of lines on the screen so we have a good working system. All right. The other thing is uh, I teach at the U university, so I'm a, I teach finance at the continuing education department in Utah Tech University. And I love that job. I have so much fun down there. So there's a lot of guys that come to this class that are from there. And I appreciate you guys coming and hanging out with me and continuing your education uh, from the continuing education department at Utah Tech. And then also, of course, here on YouTube. This is all part of that. It's all part of the you know, the services that I'm trying to provide as a good teacher at the university. We come out here and trade the things that we learn in the class. Classes are over for me right now. We're, the semester has finished, and so we're kind of in between semesters, and I'm not going to teach during the summertime. 
I'm not going to teach the summer semester, so I am up here in Utah, up in Logan, Utah right now. I had to come up here a little bit early for some work. Uh, teaching at the university is not my full-time job, and I do that part-time, and I love it. It's fun, but I have to get some other things done once in a while, too. So we're watching these markets. It looks like the Dow is the one that's kind of moving the hardest and fastest for us right now, right, guys? Uh, we're trading in the futures market. So this is a futures market. <clears throat> we don't have any pattern day trading rules over here. The software I'm using, I don't even have a picture of the software I'm using right now, do I? Can't show you. Yes, I do. This is track and trade. The software I'm using is called track and trade. And where is my track and trade software? Well, I'll pull that up for you later, I guess. I thought I had it right here handy. But I think what I did is I moved it around in our slide deck so that we could have some of these other things up higher to the top. Oh, there it is. This is the software I'm using. In case you guys want to use the same software I'm using, join me. Go over to trackandtrade.com. If you got your little cameras with you, grab your little cameras, and you can scan that little box right there with your with your camera on your cell phone and it'll take you over. It'll give you a link. You can take you over to where you can take a look at the software, but it's just trackingtrade.com, seven times stocks and commodities, annual reader's choice award winning platform. And uh, this is the software I'm using. So it's a professional level trading retail software package. So it's um, not free. If you want free software, go trade free software, but that's not what we're doing here. We trade with professional level trading software here. It's a little bit more expensive, but it's worth it in my opinion. So if you want to join us, go get the, they let you have it. We let you have it for two weeks for free, no credit card required, and you can try it out. See if you think it's worth it. <clears throat> All right. Lots of people think it's worth it because lots of people have it. Lots of people use it. It's a lovely program. All right. So that said, let's go ahead and see if there's not an opportunity for us to trade here. I'm not seeing anything as the market shakes out here in the morning. It's being a little lazy. Let's look at our news. We always need to look at the news, right? First thing we need to do is pull up the news. See if there's anything driving these markets. Building permits came out today. Actually, is that today? Today's Tuesday. I thought today was Wednesday. It is Wednesday. Look at that. Hit refresh and get you a different set of news. Nothing. 8.30 a.m. crude oil. Crude oil, long, net long-term TIC flows. What the heck is TIC flows? United States decreases million millions in December. Net long TIC flows in the United States. Average millions net uh, March. What the heck is a TIC flow? Let's come in here and do a perplexity. What is a TIC flow report on? I think it'll tell me. The TIC Treasury International Capital Flow Report is a set of monthly and quarterly statistical reports from the U.S. Treasury that shows nearly all the flows of money into and out of the U.S. for purchases and sales of the U.S. securities and financial interests by institutions, governments, central banks, corporations, and other entities. Well, there you go. That's what it is. Not a very big impact, but <clears throat> net long. That comes in at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Fed speaks 3.30 after markets are closed. Now, again, this is UTC6, so you have to make the conversion for your time. I'm mountain time, so uh, make that conversion for your time. 5.15. Make this bigger so you can see it a little better. All right. So that's what we got with the nothing with the news. It's going to be a quiet day. So... We're seeing that kind of out of the gate. We're getting a little bit of motion here, a little bit of movement. I'm going to look over here. The other thing I want to look at, why we got it, why we're looking at things. Let's look over here at the stock market. Now, those of you who were with me yesterday, you know that I like to use FinViz bubble report. So let's go. I'll show you how to do that. You go to the home page and right now, oh, look, lots of green on the on the heat map. That's good. Lots of upside markets today. Yesterday, every, that whole heat map was red. So we're going to come in here 
and we're going to click on the heat map. And this is not the heat map that I like to use in particular. I like the bubble one. So I come over here and click on this little bubble heat map, and then it tells you which markets are percolating to the top, right? Now I want to change this around. I change this over to volume. I like to see the volume because then I like to see which ones are the biggest circles, the highest percolating one with the biggest bubbles on them. All right. Now this is just looking at the S&P 500. So that's UAL is really taken off. United Airlines shot to the moon for some reason. So that would be a nice long position. We got some losers in here. Tesla, once again, losing money. USB, ABT, Abbott Laboratories, down bad. TRV, TV. See, these are the ones that are really, people are trading. So this is the one that's going up a lot. So that's, everybody's looking at that one. Everybody's looking at this one. Oh, this is American Airlines, and it's up a little bit with some sympathy for United Airlines. United Healthcare, but that's a $486 per share stock. That's a big monster right there. And we got super microcomputers. That's a thousand dollars per share. We can come and look at some different markets. So you can see the market's kind of, it looks a little bullish today, a little bit more bullish, a little on the upside. We got a few that are percolating up a lot that are dropping down. A lot of these are losers, losing their money, putting their money down, getting their money out, pulling out of those markets. But that's what we're going to come over and look at in just a few minutes in the stock market. We'll come and look at some of those stocks. But for now, I just kind of want to watch the, the futures market. Which one's moving for us? It looks like the Dow's moving. So we're going to come in here, and we're going to go to the charts. I'm going to come into my portfolios. These are all user-defined mini Dow. And we'll take a look at the mini Dow in different time frames. So this one up here is the range bar 6. Up in the left-hand corner is the range bar 12. Bottom left-hand corner is the range bar 15. Bottom right-hand corner is the 2-minute chart. So these are all different time frames that I like to look at and see what the market's doing overall. And the Dow's the one that seems to be moving the best. So we're going to see if we can't find a trading opportunity on the Dow. Now, this is a range bar six. And in the morning, sometimes range bar six is a little bit much. So I've been trading range bar 12. But we'll take a look. I got both of them up here. And we can adjust our, our ATR. I just use the ATR to help me identify where my stops go. Sometimes it gets a little bit too close. Sometimes not close enough. So... Just kind of look and see and tune it in a little bit to the market, see what we want to do. We're going to look for a higher high and higher low, lower high and lower low, and that's what we're looking for. We're just looking for, oh, there's a nice little break right there. We're going to see if that thing wants to go. If it doesn't, we'll just get right back out, throw our stop in there and say, if you drop off of that little ABC pattern that you're trying to make right there, see that little ABC pattern, it come down, it's red, green, and we want to see it continue to fall after that little green pullback. So that's what we're looking for. We just want to see it fall down that little scale right there because that was the first scale oh it failed on us so that was not a good trade good thing we got out though because we don't want to just stay in a market and just watch it go against us and take all our money so if we're wrong we get out if we're right we stay in <clears throat> but we need a market to move we need it to move now it might take off and go this direction if it does then we'll look for a little pullback a little red couple little red bars here and then we'll look for the extension there that's what we'll do but we could take a downside. If it breaks those yellow dots, we could take that to the back to the downside again as if it's, you know, technically speaking, in a downtrend. We could try that. Oh, I got in a little bit, pulled the trigger a little bit too soon. That's probably not what I wanted to do. Give it one second here. See if it wants to fall. If it does not, just get back out again. There it goes. <clears throat> no, nope. It's kicking around. It's not. It's not doing what we want again. That dumb thing, it's not going anywhere. I'm not going to sit jumping in, jumping out, jumping in, jumping out. That's not the way to trade. So we'll wait for a second and see where it goes. <clears throat> now it's taken off, of course, without me. Of course, of course. So we got higher highs on the 15-minute chart. You can see that we're in uh, overall in the longer-term trend. We're in an uptrend. So we got nice higher highs and higher lows like this. Coming in a little channel. Breaking hard. Came down. We thought we might get a little break down here, right here, right? Thought we might get a little break in the come, and it didn't fall through, so it reversed. We tried to go short one more time, and it failed. So we had two failures to the downside, and then that's when it took off and started to go long without us. Okay, there's a little pennant formation right there. That's another opportunity to enter. It's not the best, but it's an opportunity to enter as we come across and break across that previous high. We could have probably got in right there, but I 
hesitated just a second. Now we're missing that run too. It's breaking out the top of our channel over here on the 12 range bar 12. We'll see if it's bounce off that area of support up in there and see if it rebounds a little bit. Here's a pullback. We'll see how far it pulls back. Put your Fibonacci ruler in there. Come back into this region here. There it is. So it hits bounce 50% down in there. See if it'll turn and rally once again. Still not giving us a whole lot here. Okay, so what we can do is we can drag our stop in there and trail down on those yellow dots. If it crosses back above the yellow dots, we can get in. Oh, now it's just flushing again. These are Hike and Ashy range bars. Pretty unique situation with a ATR overlay. One thing we don't have is we don't have our, we got volume turned on. <clears throat> there we go. Get our stop in there in case we're wrong. Oh, it's wrong so quick I couldn't even get my stop in there. Hold on a second, see if it wants to go. Come on, you rotten little dog. Hold my stop in there. I think I got my stop too close. This market's just not parabolic today. Ugh. It's going to fail on us again. Just going sideways. We're not having luck today, are we? All right, let's see. Maybe we have to go out to a longer term time frame. <clears throat> this thing is getting too small down here for this dead market. It looks like it wants to be a trendy market on some of these other time frames. Oh, come on. Let's do something here, market. One second. Let's go look at something else. Let's go look at, we had no news, so it's a dead day. Don't want to go leave with a dead market, though. Let's go look at the, see what everything else is doing. Well, look at the Russell. It's just dead, too. NASDAQ's dead. Dow's trying to climb. That was the best one, but we couldn't get anything going on the Dow. All right. Well, that's no fun. Let's go. Oh, Russell wants to break out, doesn't it? Russell wants to go. I can tell. It wants to go. It wants to go, doesn't it? It wants to go. Let's go see if I can find the Russell. Mini Russell. 14. I thought it was 14. Mini Russell. Yeah. Look, it's trying to break out. It wants to go. Let's give it a shot. We're going to take the Russell just with a single. I haven't been trading anything more than one contract here. Just to see if we can get something going, get a little break. Do you want to go, Russell? Come on. Come on, Russell. I know you do. I can feel it in my bones. I can see it in the chart. You want to break higher and you want to go. If you don't, we're going to just call it a day and we're going to go over and trade stocks. Come back at the top of the hour. Come on, you rotten little dog. Don't do this to us. Break out. Break out. Break out or bail out. See, either it's got to go or we just get out. Uh, you rotten little thing. It's just going to stop us out too. Didn't want to go on that little break. I thought we might get something off that little... That little wedge pattern right there and get a breakout and get it to go and break above those highs. And it just didn't do it. Couldn't do it. Failure. Total failure. Look at all these topping tails and bottoming tails. We're just wasting our money here. All right. So let's come over and look at the stock market and see what it's doing. We make money when markets fall. Well, you can make money when markets fall over here too if it would fall, but it doesn't want to fall and doesn't want to rise. I wonder why that's loading. I'm going to pull this back up. 
It's got to go somewhere. It's got to move. It just ain't moving. It ain't going nowhere. This is nowheresville. We got our hiney handed to us today. Are you going to flush all the way back down to the blue line? Uh, failed to the upside. It's trying to go down. I don't think we got anything. We'll just wait for it to start moving. We can't trade this. All right. Let's go look at what we got going over here. Yesterday we were trading some options. Did pretty good. Let's see what we got going with our AMD. What do we do with AMD? We were in AMD yesterday. We sold a call two days. And we're up $6 on our sold call. It doesn't decay very fast when you got multiple days left to go in your day trading with it. But it's trying to make a little bit of money. I think we got something else going here, too. Oh, that's where we also have a buy a call. We sold a call. And eh, we don't like this one. Trade. Let's go in and go to the options and let's just exit this chart. <clears throat> All right. So we're out of that one. Took our six dollars and ran away. JP Morgan Chase. That one, what did we have on? We got a call, call. We need that thing to go up. It went, it was going down yesterday. Why did we hang on to that? I think because I just walked away. <laughs> Didn't do anything. This is daily. This is daily. This thing's obviously coming down. No reason to have a bunch of long calls in there. Let's clean up the dead wood here. Let's exit all those. We'll start over fresh. So we get out of that one. Mags will stay in. Morgan Stanley. That was another leftover from yesterday, wasn't it? Morgan Stanley. Stanley. Okay, there we go. We got something happening on Morgan. PLL. We got a little thing in Piedmont. Oh, that was that spike. And then we shorted the spike. It's trying to go back up again. So that would be, we don't want it to go back up. So we're going to take our profits on that one. Exit. Yes. Okay. Chart. So Stanley, S&P, the S&P. Now the S&P rallies a little bit. It's still coming down. We're short the S&P. We're making money when the market goes down because we bought a put option. So in the stock market, if the market's going to fall, you can buy a put option, and then you make money when the market goes down. That's what a put option is. If you want the market to go up and make money when the market goes up, you buy a call option. It can really be that simple. It doesn't have to be much more difficult than that. There's a little bit more two options, obviously, but the way you make money with an option is you buy a call when you think the market's going to go up, you make money. You buy a put when you think the market's going to go down, and you make money when the market goes down. So you buy a put. And we bought a put on the S&P 500 right back here at April 4th. And at April 4, on April 4th, the market started to fall. And we're up $2,786. That gives us kind of a little green buffer in here. And we like to day trade these too. So that's where I like to come over. And we're going to this little market here. And we're going to go look at UAL. UAL was United Airlines. And while we're looking at it, why don't we look at AAL as well? So we're going to look at UAL and AAL. UAL and AAL. All right. So right up here. Oh, and there's UAL. There's AAL. AAL. Let's go into a one minute chart and see what's going on. I actually like two minute charts a little bit better for trading options daily chart. Right, let's go into two minute. And yep. Sure enough, that thing is rocking and rolling. We're going to come in here. We got Hike and Ashy turned on. So. When I use the when I do this type of trading, I generally like to use the bulls and bears. This is my favorite indicator. We got all of our moving averages in there, so we could draw lots of lines on the chart. So one of them will work. Okay, it came back and touched that on that pullback. That's a 28 period moving average. Came back and touched it like a train on rails. But this is going into the first drive. All right, so this is the morning bell. Six there. Oh, that's six thirty. 7.30 was right here. 
So that we had the opening, and then this is the opening. Oh, so it's not bad right now. We could go in there. It's thirteen dollars a share on American Airlines. Do we want any options? Are there any options? Now there's several ways we could do this. We could approach this. Two days till expiration. Look, they're only twenty bucks. There's a lot of them. Volume's high. Open interest is high. Spread is tight. It's only twenty. Oh, that's a put option. We got to go do calls. Center that thing. It's still the same. 800, 600. We think that market's going to continue higher. We could pick us up a little call option in here. It's only $24. $13.55 per share. How much do we want to spend? Let's put $500 into this market, should we? Three, four, or five. If we invest $500, oh, I just missed that little pop. The thing is, <clears throat> it'd be nice to see a little pullback and then a rally again. So what we could do is we could put in 10 of these right now, $250. Let's just put in 10 of them. Yeah, that's good. 11 of them. We'll put in 10 of them. And we'll go ahead and I'm dilly-dallying around here and we're missing this run. So... Try and get in with 10. So now, if it pulls back, we'll see if we can't add 10 more back down in here, dollar cost average in. All right, let's do that. Now, the other one was American Airlines, and the other one we put in here was United Airlines. That's the one that really took off. Oh, that's the one-minute chart. Let's go to the two-minute chart. Oh, look at that baby rock and roll. It just broke the blue lights once again right here. So we got a blue light break right there. So that's our... Yeah, what do we got going here? Options. We're going to come in here. Two-day options. We think that thing's just going to keep barreling higher. Or are we going to get a little pullback in here and then another rally? Probably get a pullback. But we don't want to sit around on our hands and wait for that. Let's go ahead and let's just put a few in here. This is trading at $45 a share. So our options, again, we're just going to do two days. They're only 79 bucks. Come in here, and we're going to buy. Let's put in $250 again, just like we did before. So how much is that? Oh, that's not what I want to do. I'm turning the wrong one. Yeah, they screwed up there. Let's start over. Okay, $72.50, buy. And maybe we'll buy that one a little bit further in the money. So that one here, we're going to put down with a delta of 59.60. That means it's going to make as much money as 60 shares. All right. So we're going to come in here. And how many did we decide we're going to do? We're going to do about, oh, let's do three of them. It's still taking off like a rocket ship. I'm kind of feeling bad. We're missing it, having a little FOMO on it. See so if we can't get into that thing. It's not going to let us in, is it? Oh, come on. Oh, there it goes. Let us in. All right. How do I know it failed? Well, it's got a little triangle right there, and it shows me. I could look in my positions down here and I can see chart and it shows me in field now I have my open orders over here and there's not any but I got my positions right here so we're down $18 on this one right now with the spread so we had to pay a little bit of a spread there's no commissions but we do have to pay a spread what's the spread land the spread is between the buy and the sell line and you can see that listed right here see the spread it's 50 cents or 0.5 cents or equal as that to be six dollars right so six dollars a piece and we got three of them so we had to pay that three times so that's what we got as a spread there it goes it's moving in our favor so we got in on a break of that blue light actually we got in a little bit late but it's okay it's still going for us what's what's this one up here american airlines that one's going to we're up fifteen dollars fifteen $15 on the barrel head. We'll see if we don't get a little pullback. Then we can add some more. See how far it wants to run first. It's the one everybody's looking at. So that's what we know that from this, right? Everybody's looking at that one. So they think that's a good deal. And if everybody's looking at it, that's why we're looking at it. And this is a Me Too market. We're up $67.50 on our long call. See if that baby won't run a little bit more. Now we're up $70. Morgan Stanley, it's still going. Morgan 
Hey, Morgan Stanley. Spy starting to rally. What do we think the S and P is going to do? It dropped again this morning. Woof, flushed, and now it's just going back, making a little bit of a retracement. How far back is it going to go? We were up over three thousand dollars on the S and P for some reason. We've lost some time decay on this thing. It's not falling as fast as we want it to. Actually, we don't really want it to fall very fast. Actually, we do want it to fall. We need some relief from this massive, big, huge four-drive rally that it made, right? Drive one, drive two, drive three. It made that little four-drive right there. I'm going to combine those two and say that's one big third drive. So we got three nice big drives going up. Now we need a little pullback, a little relief. Come back in here to the this Fibonacci sweet spot where we can start looking to buy some more and start to go long once again. So that's what we're looking at from a technical standpoint. Now, they're going to get on the news and they're going to start yelling and screaming that the world is falling apart and everything's going to die and everybody's going to not have bread on the table and the trucks are going to stop running because the stock market is starting to fall. But it's just a technical pullback. Don't get all scared right now. That's what those guys' job is, to scare you. So it's going to scare you a little bit as this thing comes down. But it'll catch down in here, probably go sideways a little bit, and then it'll kind of turn and start to go back up again. It's good. It's okay. That's just what markets do. They don't always go straight up. See that? They go down sometimes. Sometimes they go down, and they go in waves, right? Drive one, drive two, drive three, three drives down, then it turn around, drive one, drive two, drive three, three drives up. Just like that. And then if you look back here a little bit farther, come in here. Delete all your drawing tools. I could get rid of some of these moving averages. Or sometimes they're just in the way. And then, you see, drive one, drive two, drive three. See that? Come back here. A little two drive pattern down, and it turned and went back up. Where over here, we had drive one, drive two, drive three. And then over here, we had drive one, drive two, drive three. And then over here, we only had a little two drive pattern, two drive, drive one, drive two. But then over here, drive one, drive two, drive three. Hey, you're starting to see a pattern here, aren't you? Markets have a tendency to move in three drive patterns, drive one, drive two, drive three, All right? So there's a counter trend, counter trend, counter trend. So you see that the markets have a tendency to drive in these three drive patterns. Does it happen all the time? Not all the time. There's drive one, drive two, drive three. That one had drive four. And then it had the little two drive back, right? How do you know this, Land? You're so smart. Oh, I just go back and look at things. But you know what? When I was in Chicago at the Board of Trade, and I told you I learned more than I taught, they taught me all this stuff. That's where I got it. And so I wrote it down in this book right here. It's called the Stock Market Playbook of Strategies. And I teach you all about this stuff. And you come in here and you can see where I've written all about the different things in this market. Right? And right here, this is where the three drive pattern comes in. And I teach you all about it. Drive one, drive two, drive three. It's all about the probabilities. And so you come in and you learn about the probabilities. What is an X1? What is an X2? What is an X3? What is a drive one? What is drive two? What is an Elliott wave pattern? What are the rules? Here's rule one, rule two, rule three, rule four, rule five, rule six, rule seven. And that's what these three drive patterns are. It's all about these rules. See, and we talk about them right here in this little booklet that you can get on Amazon. Just search Land H. Turner and it'll pop right up. And then this is where you learn all about the three drive pattern, what the probabilities are. Because every trade you take when you trade is based on probabilities. And so we want to know what the probabilities are that the market's going to rise or fall based on these multi-drive pattern systems. And that's what we learn in this book right here. See, it's all lined out for you. And you can learn that. There's 220 pages in this book. There's all kinds of really great stuff that you can see and that you can use and talks about different reoccurring price patterns, all kinds of things. Fibonacci patterns. We talk about the danger zones. We talk about the Elliott waves and the Fibonacci numbers. So that's what you want to do if you want to learn this stuff down as deep as you need to do it so you can make money off of them when you trade. Just go get that little book and it'll kind of outline all the things I learned at the Chicago Board of Trade when I was there. Right? I was like a little mole for you. I was in there 
sneaking around, learning what those guys do. And I wrote it down in books. And then I stuck it in that book for you on Amazon. And it's the manual to this class. So go get that book. Then you have all the secrets from the Board of Trade. That's what they taught me when I was there. All right. I was there for 10 years. I went there. So learned a lot there. I'm sharing it with you. Sharing it with you. Look at that market. There's Morgan Stanley. Stanley's doing some good. How are we doing up here on American Airlines? Oh, we're getting that little pullback we talked about, right? So there's a little rally. We're going to come back. Maybe we'll break those blue lights. Maybe this, we could take these off right now if we wanted to. We could just take this off in, in a, you know, fear that it's going to come back down. We could put it back on, but then we have to pay that spread again. So we, we're going to hang on to it because I think this market's going to continue higher. I think it's going to pull up. It's going to make a little pullback, maybe break those blue lights and then go again. It'll give us an opportunity to add some more in. Remember, we only put in half our position. Here's American Airlines. It's still going. So that's good for our United Airlines. It's going to be sympathy because United Airlines, right? United Airlines is our big one. That's this one. That's the one everybody's looking at. American Airlines, the only reason it's going is because it's sympathy for United Airlines. They're like, hey, if United Airlines is going to the moon, I'll bet you American Airlines will too. We could probably come and look at some. Well, I'll bet you some of these are Delta Airlines. Yep, and look at that. This is, this is Southwest Airlines. So this is all the airlines down in here, RTX Corp. That's, these are not uh, Honeywell International. These are too tiny down here. They're no good. So we just want these big ones up here. But we got, let's go look at Delta. Why not? Delta's having some sympathy. So is little love down here, South Airst Airlines. So D-A-L and L-U-V. It's airline day. Wait, what was that one? D-A-L and L-U-V. How come my charts aren't pulling up? There we go. Oh, look, we're making money on United Airlines. $169. Let's put in here D-T, oh, D-A-L, right? And L-U-L-U-V. Heck, if I can do this, you can do this. I'm a bumbling idiot half the time. Okay, let's come down here to two minutes. DTA, where's our DTA? Oh, look at Southwest Airlines. That thing's going to the moon too. DAL, that one's rocking and rolling for us as well. Opportunity to put an option on that one? Yeah, not so much. That one, let's wait and see if it wants to give us a little pullback. Maybe we could take it a little longer view out of it here. There's a lot of topping tells, a lot of bottoming tells. It's not as many people liking this one. It's still rallying. Broke those blue lights going into that first drive, right? So drive one. Question is, is it going to pull back and give us a drive two? So now we got to come back up here. American Airlines. American Airlines starting to rally again. Didn't break. Oh, there it did break the blue lights. So now if it wants to looks like it wants to go one more time. I think we could add another couple of options in here. We're going to come in here and I'm going to buy. We're going to come in. Let's buy some down here. Let's buy this one here. Oh, that's a long ways off the screen. That's clear down here. I don't know if I want to do that. Well, let's do it just so we can see what it does. All right. This is a learning environment. Let's come in here and put three of those on. Put another $250 worth of options on here. See what happens. Place that order. All right. Let's see if that wants to rally some more, and we'll see what those two options do for us independently. All right. We're going to come in here, go back to our charts. Where are we at? Mags? No, this one here. Oh, that's Morgan Stanley. How come I'm having a hard time here? Oh, we're, 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 we're rocking and rolling with United Airlines. When is it going to give us that pullback? We're up $200 on that one. Uh, what's this one down here hiding? Summit Wireless. That's one we looked at yesterday. That was a continuation, wasn't it? Look at that baby rock and roll. That thing took right off out of the gate this morning. <clears throat> Whoop. Come back down. Whoop. Tried to go again. Failure. We're on the back side of the MACD. No green, green, green on that one. United Health. Oh, we had the United Health up. What's it doing? 
man, go look at United Airlines. Okay, I'm I'm looking. You're up $193. That's pretty damn good in 10 minutes. Yes, yes, it is. How many minutes? One, two. Oh, these are two-minute charts. So two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14. In 14 minutes, we made $202. That's pretty good wages, I'd say. We got Morgan Stanley still up for us, but it's pulling back. We'll see. There's a little break on Morgan Stanley right there. That's our little break. Now we're making this one. We're looking for a little pennant formation. We want to see it continue higher. Come on, Morgan. Where's our loves? Oh, there it is. Okay. We're not in loves right now because there's our first drive break, right? So that's our A1, right? Michael Bruce in the house. There's A1, Michael Bruce. So Michael Bruce says that's an A1 right there. And if that's an A1, we're looking for this market to pull back. Now, this could just be a little pennant formation, right? A little pennant right here. Doo, doo, doo. So that's a little pennant formation. The question is, is it going to drop out of that little pennant formation, break those blue lines before it rallies and goes up one more time? Where's it going to go? Time it the best you can. Just do the best you can. J.P. Morgan Chase. Jaguar Health. What the heck was this in here for? I think we got a couple of... How did I get, how did I get in this window? Oh. Bye. I think that was a pump and dump. Intel. We were looking at Intel, too. That was another one we can dump. Ford. That's another one we can dump. Delta Airlines. There, it's starting to break. Trade. Ah, oh, quick. Hurry. Hurry, land. Buy your call. How many of them do you want? How much are they trading for? $48. $63. That ain't nothing. Let's put in $500 worth of those things. Let's put in $500. Let's put in 10 of them. All right. Let's just get into that baby. Rock and roll. Come on. All right. Let's see if it's going to break above that high and continue to rally. So, American Airlines, come on, buddy. Oh, we should probably put another one in there, too. It's trying to break above, trying to be, oh, wow, look at that thing. Went all the way back. It's still in drive one. It's trying to be a drive two right here. It broke right there, and it's starting to rally again. Options. Let's come in here. Let's buy a call. Drag that baby in there. Oh, where are we? Oh. Oh, we did put some in. We put an extra one in already. What am I doing? Just couldn't see it. It's down here. See? You can do this if I can do this. And I'm barely able to hang on here. Come on. <clears throat> oh, that's Morgan Stanley. Morgan Stanley. $91. Buy a call. Come on, Morgan. Get in there. We want more than one. Put another $500 in there on Morgan. Okay, Morgan. Take off out of that little wedge pattern. See that little pattern? See how it pulled back right there? It's a little wedge pattern. See that? On that nice rally. And then we got the blue lights. It's still above the blue lights. If you read my book, you'd know that that's, a, that's an, oh, what is that? That's a B1, isn't it? That's B1 on Morgan Stanley. Why is that a B1? Well, because A1 is down here. We're going to call this one A1. Why is that A1, Lan? Well, because it's the beginning of this new trend. And that's kind of the break. We got a second set of blue lights. So that's the blue lights there. Okay, Morgan. We're up $252 on Morgan. Uh-oh, we're down $25 on, on Delta. Uh-oh, American Airlines. Come on, American Airlines. Where's United down here? United Airlines. Okay, it's starting to round out the top up there. So what you going to do, Land? What you going to do? We're up $156 in 15 minutes. That's pretty good wages. Let's see if it wants to pull higher. That's the one that's pulling all these others up. All right, remember, that's, that's our big circle right here. So let's get back to business here. 
Okay, it's trying to break across that top. Label it for me, Lan. Well, right there is where all those green bars started. Kind of want to. Well, the first break in those blue lights is right there. That's not very pretty. Well, it's it's topping out here. I think we're going to take our profits and let this thing fall back down. It's going to it's got to make a little A B C pattern in here. It's got to come down. The problem is the blue lights are still clear down here. Clear down there. And those have to intercept to make a blue. They could it could this could just be a little pennant formation in here. It could just come in here and come back a little bit like that. See if it's going to break higher right here. If it breaks below that line right there, if it breaks right there, I would take it off, and then we could wait for it to come down. We'll put it back on down as it intercepts and tries to go back higher again. But if it breaks, we'll just stay in. Come on, buddy. We want you to go higher. Higher and higher. Higher and higher. Morgan Stanley. Oh, Stanley, don't die on us. Well, we do have those blue lights coming in for an intercept right here. That was probably not a very good place to put those on. Because we got to have a little bit of a pullback here. Break those blue lights and then another rally. So I think what we'll do is we'll come into our options and we're going to exit the chart. Get out of these. Take our profits off of Morgan Stanley and we might watch it for another one. But probably not. Morgan Stanley's not on our radar today. We'll just delete all the Morgan Stanley files. We took our profits on that one. What about mags? What about the S&P? Are you going to take that one off today? I don't think so. I think we got some more, more room for this one to come down. What about American Airlines? Oh, look at it flush. Oh, my goodness. We're painful. That's painful right there. Get out, Lynn. Get out. Okay, okay. Exit chart. We don't want it to go negative on us. Eh, we had a few shekels on that one and lost them. What about United? Eh, yeah, I think it's time to take that one off too. Let's let it pull back a little bit. That's our that's our bellwether right there. That's the big baby. That's this one here. So it's up 10% today. And this one is up, American Airlines, only up 4%. So there's still some opportunity in here. We just got to wait for another better entry. We're trading. We're not investing. We're trading. We're not investing. All right. Let's create a portfolio. Let's come in here. That might have been a mistake, but it's trying to rally again. This is UAL. Oh, this is airlines. So let's come in here. And in our airlines, we got... UAL, DAL, LUV. What was the other one? United, AAL. Those are the four, right? Isn't that what we had? All right, let's bring those up and let's put them all on our two minute charts. And we'll go and watch all four of them at once. Let's scoot this down so we can see what's going on. All right, they're all dropping. That's, oh, we're still in Delta. Oh, crap. What the hell? I'm losing 160 bucks on Delta. Wasn't paying attention. Well, that sucks. Let's come and see what we got going down here. Let's, all charts. What are we closed out today? Well, we're up $171 and we're losing $160. Crap. Daggone it. We're making a little bit of money there. And then we lost it all right there when I screwed up. Made a mistake. Left that thing on there accidentally. Well, why you still got it on there then? Well, because it might turn around and go back up. And I already lost the money, so we're going to see. See if it doesn't come down. I think we got a, a second run on this thing.
I think we're going to break higher and do a, a second drive, an ABC drive. We just need to give it time. Give it time. That was a dumb place to buy that land. Why? It was not a dumb place to buy it. It was just not the best place to buy it. Well, hindsight's twenty twenty. Look, there's a natural trend line right there. You so you bought right there. Well, I thought it might break above that high and give us one more push up. Everything else was pushing higher. Well, if I was trading, I'd have known. Well, you are trading. Go do your own trades. If I was trading, if I was trading, I'd have known that that was going to fall. Oh, okay. Me too. I knew. That's why I got out of all the others. But I didn't realize I had that position on right there. Well, I'd get out right now. Cut my loser. Well, do that then. There's your, there's your spider web. A natural trend line here, natural trend line there. We got a spider web here. You just gonna let that sit there and lose money? I think it's gonna come down and it's gonna hit that fifty period moving average, and it's gonna turn around and go back up. Or it may come down and hit that 100 period moving average and go back up. That'd be more painful. We'd have to sit through a bigger drawdown. But I could add some more to it. Delta's not even the big one that everybody's watching. Why are you paying attention? Why are you hanging on? Well, I got myself into a trouble there. Probably should just take it off, right? First loss is your best loss. It's the third, it's it's the third smallest one of these. American Airlines second. United Airlines is a big one. United is going to try and go again right here. Look at it break. I told you I didn't think it was going to come back and hit those blue lights. They were a little bit too far back. Wants to go again, but boy, Southwest really flushed. American Airlines really flushed. Hit those blue lights. Okay, we got to wait for an intercept. We got to wait for the MACD to turn around and go the other color. Same here. <clears throat> that Delta Airlines making me feel bad. It's stuck at right like about 170. Is it going to go right here? Is United going to take off? It's on the back side. It's on the back side. It's all red. I don't think so. Question is, are we going to get a second run on these things? Market's not very strong today. We saw that in the futures market. Couldn't get anything going over here either. Russell. This is all the Russell. Russell, Russell. Look at how it died down here. Cascaded down on the 15-minute chart. Five-minute chart. Russell 10, one-minute chart. Just going sideways right now. Okay. Back to the stock market. Oh, see, we are trying to break higher here on the United Airlines. Let's come in and we'll uh, so buy, a, buy a couple of them just in case. 250 bucks. It's up there pretty high. That's what is that? One A. That's the. It looks like. It's got to be an A two right there. That's A two. That should be a good spot to get in. That's A two. But we're on the back side of the MACD, and we got a down arrow right there. We just got to flip it, flip it, flip it, flip it. What do you guys want to do? <laughs> Michael Bruce wants to be a bag holder. On Delta Airlines, I'm not. A, I, I'm not. I don't. I don't subscribe to that theory, Michael Bruce. I don't subscribe to that theory. 
This one here is the one that's causing me stress and pain right here. Market just died, didn't it? Like it just totally died. Is that position on? Did you put that on? No, I didn't. It's still sitting there open. I haven't I haven't I haven't hit place order yet. It's just a little calculator. Is the market still just going sideways and dropping? I, the thing is, I'll probably cut this one out and take my one. What are we at now? It was 170, still at 170. Take my 170 loss only to have it turn around and go back up. So that's all I'm, I want to see if it's going to bounce off that 50 period moving average. Now we're down 195. Look at selling a call up there, but there's not any money in it, not for two days. $20 over a two-day period of time, you wouldn't get enough to even pay the spread. Okay, there's bouncing. My order on here went away, so I don't got nothing up up there. Okay, just going to try and make a new high right here. Bounce off that 50-period moving average and make a new high. Come on. But we need United Airlines. It's our leader to go. United's got to come back and break those blue lights. So we're going to sit on our hands for a minute. If United goes down and breaks that blue light, the Delta's going to drop even worse. Where are you at laying on that one? 190. We're stuck at 190. Oh, I feel bad. I made that mistake. We'd have been up right now on our trades, but now we're down. Didn't realize I had that thing sitting out there. You saw me taking them off of all the others as the market rolled over. And we got nothing else, do we? We got nothing else out here. Let's go look at some other... That's the S&P. Let's go look at the NASDAQ. Uh, WBD. Warner Brothers is up 2%. That sucks. Boy, we just haven't... Well, when the S&P is on the way down, you don't generally get lots of good rallies. But I thought you were going to show me about how to go short, Lance. Take some losers. Well, we haven't got any of those either. The markets... Well, I guess there's some down here. That's a 910. Autodesk is dropping like a rock. 240. I guess we should have looked at some of these short positions, huh? They're not very big circles, so let's go look at Dow Jones. The Dow. What's this? Travelers. Wow. Look at that thing. That gap down like crazy. Take that out. Intel. Intel's the loser again. Boeing. Boeing looks like it needs to. Boeing's had such bad press lately. INTC. Buy when there's blood in the street. Oh, look at this thing still falling. Now I'm down 230. I can't hang on to it any longer. I can't do it. I just can't do it. And this is right where it'll turn around and shake you out. Just can't do it. I just can't do it. Now we're only up $3,000 on our trading. And that's coming from our long-term trades. Ugh. Well, that set us back. That was a mistake. That was a rookie mistake, Lan. Rookie mistake. You had too many things going that you were trying to handle at once, trying to trade four markets simultaneously, and you didn't have your chart set up properly. So I closed out. We're down $62. Doggone it. 
That was my bad. Sorry, guys. I screwed that one up. I don't blame myself for this one over here. I don't blame myself for this one over here. The market was just stupid this morning. Stupid market. Stupid market. <laughs> you stupid market. <laughs> it's always the market's fault. It's never my fault. It's always the market's fault. I don't think we're going to get the projection on this thing. I don't think it's going to go up, pull back, and then go up again. It might. It might go up again. It could go up to that blue line, but it's just not being parabolic today. Parabolic means that it's moving fast. It's just doing this stupid little snaky dakey thing, and it's not giving you a chance to get into the market and make any money. It's just doing this little... Oh, that looks so easy. Make so much money. No, it's not. It's not that easy. Just go red to green land. Red to green. Yeah, but then look at all these little red to greens in here. All these little red to greens. All these little green to reds. We need something to move bigger. We need bigger moves before we can trade. Okay, is it going to rally and go up? Is it going to do this? Faked you out. Faked you out. You thought you were going to get yourself a rally out of there. Came down, hit the yellow dots again. Boom, boom, boom. Let's tighten those things up a little bit. Market's starting to show a little promise in there, isn't it? But it's just going back a snaky pattern, a little snaky pattern. Okay, there's our United Airlines. Hit the blue lines. Look at Delta still flushing all the way down. You rotten Delta Airlines. I should have seen that coming. I should have seen that a little bit more clearly. It's easier in hindsight, right? But the bulls and bears was giving us the color code. It was telling us, hey, there's green on top. There's yellow in the middle. Your target is right here. That's your first target right there. That blue line, that B line. That's where we would have projected that mark to come down to. I didn't want to believe that, though. I wanted to see it come down, break the blue lights, and turn and make another nice little ABC pattern. I wanted an ABC pattern land, ABC. But we're getting a complete flush and failure on this thing. But that's not our big one. Our big one was UAL. That one should play some more. That one should go again. That's the one everybody's looking at. That's the one everybody's excited about. United Health. That's too big. GS. Goldman Sachs, $400 a share. Yeah, that's all we got. That's all we got. What's that? Oh, wait. What's that one? Trying to trying to trying to show its little perky head. Bank of America. Oh, that's a rebound from its fall yesterday. It's a pretty good size circle, though, isn't it? 35.40. Let's go look at BAC. You're going to put it here in your airlines? I know. Laziness. Now we should be buying some, some uh, UAL right now. Did you see it over there? And I flipped over. It's starting to rally. There's Bank of America. It's pulling back. Now we're looking for its next drive up. So this is the A drive. This is the counter trend. That's the X1. This would be the B1. We're looking for a B1 break and a rally on Bank of America. Let's come look at United Airlines. It looks like it's getting ready to go. Wants to go again. Wants to go one more time. Here we go. Are you ready to take it? Are you going to do it? Are you going to pull the trigger? Are you going to go in? Are you going to try it? Are you going to make some money on it? Or are you going to lose? How much you're willing to risk to see if you're going to make some money on it? Trade options. 
Where's our options string? Chain string. Land. Okay, center. There it is. $90.50. Let's buy that. Where's it at? Yeah, that looks good. Pop in there three of them. One, two, three, four, five. All right, let's see if it's going to go this time. If it doesn't, we'll just get right back out. I don't want to have another Delta Airlines experience. So if it breaks below, right there, that's our line in the sand. If it crosses that, we're just going to get out and take another black eye. We're anticipating that it's going to break those blue lights and go, 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 like a banshee. Okay. So this is an anticipation trade. Hasn't broke the lights yet. Label it, land. Label it. This is a hard one to label because it went sideways for so long. What time was the morning bell? Morning bell was right there. So I'm going to make that A1 right there. That's A1. Are you with me, Michael? You going to call that an A1 with me? So that's an A1. That means this is B1 right here. B1s are always, not always. B1s are usually our favorites. We like B1s. Because a lot of people have already come and seen this market rallying. And so they think, hey, this thing's getting ready to go again. Let's all jump on board. So that's what we're doing here. We're jumping on board. But it looks like we need a little bit more participation. Is it going to be a B1 failure? So that means this one here, while we're labeling, this is an X1. X1. Uh, it's falling back down. Len, how do you decide how many of these things you want to buy? Well, we're on a two period. We're on a two-day moving average. It really should have to do with how much you're willing to risk, right? You know, you're not risking. I put in five hundred dollars. All I did is add five hundred dollars to the to the number of options that I bought. So I wasn't looking at the number of options. I was just looking at how much I wanted to risk. So I put in five hundred dollars. Now I'm not going to risk the full five hundred dollars. I drew my line in the sand. If the market fell back to that level, I'd take it off at whatever the price was that I was losing. And we wouldn't really know because it depends on the options. I got five of them. So I don't really look at the value of the options to determine entry and exit. I generally look at the technical analysis. Unlike Delta Airlines, which I was just like, made a mistake. Didn't liquidate it when I meant to liquidate it when I liquidated all the rest. Okay, let's go see what the rest are doing. Bank of America. Let's bring this down. Why do you have Bank of America in here? I thought you were trading the airlines. I am. But it popped its little head up. Said it wanted to trade too. I want to trade. I want to play. I want to play. Come on, land. Play with me. It's like a puppy with a ball. Come on. Come and play. I dare you. I dare you to put an option on me. I dare you. Sometimes it's like you're playing with the Chucky doll. <laughs> come on. Come and play. And then he tears your head off. Okay. American Airlines is trying to break. Look at that. Natural trend line. And we got our blue light trend line right there. It's going to fail. I don't trust it. Certainly don't trust Delta. Look, it came right down and touched that blue line just like a train on rails. Which blue line is that? I don't know. This is the wrong color. I can't tell which one that is. Is that the VWAP or is that the 100 period moving average? Well, it's not the VWAP because you don't have the turn VWAP even turned on. Okay, then I guess it's the 100-period moving average. 
bounced on the hundred. Sometimes trading's like watching paint dry. It's not the action that you think it is. I'm a day trader. Oh, does that mean you're just like jumping in and out all the time? <laughs> well, we try not to. Try not to jump in and out all the time. Come on. It broke those blue lights and then it failed right across there. Don't fail me now, United Airlines. Come on, you're the top dog today. You're the top dog. Oh, market's starting to rally here a little bit. Russell's starting to go. He's trying. Trying to break above that trend line right there. Get in, land. Take a long position. <laughs> I guess we could if you wanted. ATR. Let's loosen our trail up a little bit. You think it's going to go? Let's give it a shot. Why not? Why not? If you don't get in, you can't make money. You also can't lose money. All right. Where are we at? Oh, there we go. Oh, ah, that's a good one. We're up 102 bucks. All right. On our B1. Looking for that three drive pattern, right? This is the B1. So this is going into the second drive. We want it to be as strong or stronger than the first drive. Come on, guys. Pick it up. Volume is starting to pick up a little bit on that bar. We need some bigger volume, though. We need some more people to step in. Eh, it's dying on us. Yeah. This was just a little trick. This was just a little trick. Tricked us. Trickster. It's a Chucky doll. Come on, Chucky doll. United. Have we got any more? No. It's the only one we're in. What about love? You want to take a love trade? You want to take a love trade? How about Delta? Delta's coming back. I told you that's what would happen. We'd get out and it'd come back. Bank of America wants to break and go into the B drive. American Airlines wants to break and go into the B drive. You want to put one on here? Buy a call. Let's drag that baby in there. Oh, got to be down here. Let's only do two of these, three of these. $87. <laughs> Uh, doesn't want to go in either. Uh, edit. There we go. Bank of America. We should be on that one. We should have a couple of these. How much are they? Give me a call. $56. Let's put in five of them. Five of them? Yeah, well, might as well. It was like, wasn't very much. A couple hundred bucks. All right. All right, UAL. Now all we can do is sit and wait. Sit and wait. Talk to me, guys. How are you doing? Are you guys watching these? Are you guys playing along? What are you doing, Michael? Are you trading anything? Okay, UAL just broke $100. We're up $112. AL, AAL up $150. dollar <laughs> fifty. Bank of America flushing down or five dollars down already. Let's go see why you're doing that. Come on, you little rotten dog. Where does it have to go to land before you get out? Well, technically speaking, technically speaking, it should have to break below this low right here before we bail. 
So we draw a line in the sand. If it falls below there, we're just going to get out. American Airlines. Being choppy in here. It's not got nice little flat bottom bars. Everybody watched this thing go up, and then they went to lunch. Why are you guys going to lunch already? You lazy bums. Why are you going to lunch already? Well, the S&P's down. The S&P's down, so that pulls everything else down. You need the S&P being in a strong rally, and then all these stocks will shoot to the moon. But when the S&P's going down, even when the markets are going up, the ones that are going up are lazy to go up if the S&P's down. It's just pulling against a. It's like walking up a down escalator. We should probably look at our seasonal nature of some of these markets, too, and see what they do this time of year. See if they're bullish or bearish. Uh, Bank of America. Come on, buddy. There we go. Little pop. Little pop. A little pop a Rooney. Come on, break above that high. Right there. You can do it. Come on, you can do it. Push a little higher. Push a little harder. Len, why don't you trade a thousand contracts like everybody else? Like that guy on that other channel. He trades a thousand contracts at a time. Yeah. You do that if you want a thousand contracts. Good thing we didn't have a thousand contracts on Delta. <sighs> Come on. It's like watching paint dry over here what's our trade over here doing uh, we got stopped out with a loss of course of course of course i think we were in right there where did we get in um, did we make any money on that one i don't think so closed nope we lost 30 bucks we're just not having any luck over here at all today nothing we can't get nothing to go we can't get nothing to go. Nothing, nothing, nothing. No day trading. We're just chewing up all of our profits from our options trading. Uh-oh. United Airlines, what are you doing? What are you doing? You're going to fail already? You can't fail right here. Oh, my hell. All right. That means these guys, that one's trying to go. That one's failing too. No reason to hang on to it when it's showing a flush like that. Well, at least Bank of America is now starting to try to rally. Well, what do we do? What have we gone so far today? Closed all. Oh, we're down $37. Oh, because of my Delta Airlines mistake. That one right there. 240 bucks. 240 buckarunos. Sorry, guys. I made a mistake. And we ain't got enough going on Bank of America. It's just sitting here dead. Oh, come on getting anything on this thing. It's not moving. All right, guys, I'm going to let you go for the day. I do have a Sunday school lesson for you. Here's a Sunday school lesson. Let's add it to the stage. Plan your trade and trade your plan. Don't get analysis paralysis. Sometimes you have to pull the trigger. Analysis paralysis caused by too many indicators, systems, and strategies. Pick one and master it. Risk and money management is more important than mathematical models. How you protect your profits and cut your losses. We learned that lesson today, didn't we? Of course, we'll make a decision once we have considered the 5,243 factors. So don't get analysis paralysis. Sometimes you just draw a trend line. It breaks a trend line. You get in. Higher highs and higher lows, lower highs and lower lows. That's the whole game. That's what it's all about. Everything else is periphery to that. All right. 
That's what you're playing. And look for three drive patterns, three drives in a row. Three ups, three downs, three ups, two downs, three ups, two downs, three ups, two downs. Or it can be three downs, two ups, three downs, two ups, three downs, two ups. That's the basic pattern. Go get the book, Lan H. Turner. Just search it on Amazon. It's the manual to the class. It'll teach you all that stuff. And then come back here, get your software, follow along. Let's do it together. Let's practice and see if you can't make a little bit of money at this, get good at it. And then, hey, pull the trigger and do it with real money. That's what it's all about. Right now, we're just doing it in the demo account. We're learning. We're practicing. And you can do this, too. All right. That's all I'm trying to show you. You can do this, too. If some old guy like me can do it, why can't you? All right. If you like today's class, go ahead and hit that little magic button down there. Hit that subscribe and hit that little recommend. If you liked it, give me a thumbs up. That's all I'm going to get today because we lost money on Delta Airlines. Made a mistake. All right, guys. We will see you tomorrow. We'll do it again. All right. We'll try it again tomorrow. Let's see if we can't have a better day in the futures market, too. That was a rotten market today. That's for sure. Maybe we'll go look at something else. Maybe we'll go look at Bitcoin. All right. We'll go do a little day trading on Bitcoin tomorrow. Maybe crude oil. Maybe we'll look at gold. Come and see tomorrow what we're going to trade. All right? Take care.